Namaskar students in the last video class we have discussed about expansion contraction we have also discussed about change in states of matter by different processes like freezing melting vaporization and condensation today we will continue with the same chapter okay Today we will discuss about reversible and irreversible change. Let us first discuss about irreversible change. A change is called irreversible if it cannot be changed back again. These changes are permanent. Okay. For example, baking of cake, boiling of egg, preparing dough from flour in this way. I mean suppose if i am baking a cake then i need some ingredients i am mixing it i am baking it after that means after the baking is over if i want i that i need those ingredients back like flour eggs or suppose sugar back from that a cake which is already being baked then also i cannot get back those ingredients from the cake which is already prepared okay so once the baking of cake is done the change is permanent so this kind of change is called irreversible change now the second one reversible what is uh, reversible change a change is called reversible if it can be changed back again I means suppose mm, uh, i have bought one chocolate from uh, market then after coming back due to excessive uh, ha heat uh, what happens the chocolate is melt melted okay so this uh, this chocolate that is this melting of chocolate is a reversible change why because if i will keep that chocolate again in the freezer then it will again mm, be changed back to the normal chocolate okay there are some more example freezing of orange juice to ice lollies suppose i have uh, kept some amount of orange juice in a bowl in the freezer and it changes into ice lolly okay ice cream and so after that if i will again keep it outside the freezer for one hour i will see that the ice uh, has uh, melted and uh, again i am getting back the orange juice okay similarly rolling of roti suppose my dough is ready and now i am rolling it see here i am rolling it so after rolling also if i want i can again crush that uh, uh, means roti and i can again get back the dough but once i am baking something at that time i cannot get back the ingredients so try to understand what is a reversible change and what is an irreversible change so reversible change is temporary and irreversible changes are permanent i hope i am clear students so what is the difference between reversible change and irreversible change see i have written it over here a reversible change is a change that can be undone or reversed example melting of ice and what is an irreversible change an irreversible change cannot be changed back again for example baking of cake okay now we will discuss about a different thing which is a part of this chapter states of matter that is solute solvent and solution what is a solvent solvent is a liquid that dissolves substances in it for example water water is a good solvent you know water is also known as universal solvent why you know students because water can dissolve many things in it anyway what is a solute a solute is a solid that is dissolved in a solvent suppose i am taking one glass of water that is my solvent and i am adding one spoon of sugar to it so and i'm stirring it well okay so that sugar which i have added to the water is my solute and then after i stir it with a spoon i get a mixture isn't it mixture of solute and solvent so mixture of solute and solvent is called a solution okay so here 
I gave the example of a sugar solution. Okay. Now, when a solid dissolves in a liquid, then what happens? You know, the particles of the solid take up the space between the particles of the liquid. So the molecules of the liquid are already there. Now I am adding some amount of solute to it. So the molecules of that solute is uh, getting inside the molecules of, means taking up space in between the molecules of liquid. Okay, students. Now, students, we will discuss about solubility. Solubility means what? How much substance means how much solute is getting dissolved in a particular solvent. Okay. But uh, here uh, we will actually learn that substances or solutes are be, uh, are, uh, can be divided into two types. One is soluble substance. Another is insoluble substance. Okay. We will have to know about the uh, definitions of this two. That substances that dissolve in a particular solvent are called soluble substances. Example can be salt. You can also give the example of sugar. Okay. And what are insoluble substances? Substances that do not dissolve in a particular solvent are called insoluble substance. Example uh, like chalk powder or sand. If you try to dissolve them in water, then also it will not dissolve. Okay. Now, there are two things that affect the speed at which the solid will dissolve in the, in the particular solvent. Okay. What are the two uh, things? One is temperature. Uh, means the temperature controls the amount of solute which will be dissolved in the solvent. Okay. And the next one is size of grains. This is very important students. If the solute grains are very big, then it will take more time to get dissolved and if the grains of solid are very small then very quickly it will get dissolved in the solvent okay now solids uh, usually dissolve faster and better in hot water you can try this out at your home uh, you may take half glass of warm water and you will take half glass of chilled water okay and then in both those glasses, try to mix up one uh, spoon of sugar. You will see that the sugar dissolves faster in the warm water. Okay. But in the chilled water or very cold water, sugar will take a lot of time to get dissolved. Okay. Why? Why this happens? This is because in hot water, the particles of water move away from each other. We have already discussed that if a liquid is heated, then the molecules of that liquid becomes uh, heated and thereby they move away from each other. And when these molecules move away from each other, then they create more space between them. And in that bigger space, the molecules of solute get inside. Okay. Thus, Solutes dissolve faster and better in hot water. This thing often comes as a give reason of question. Okay. So prepare this like that. That give reason of that solids usually dissolve faster and better in hot water. Then you have to write this. That because the particles of water move away from each other due to heating. So they create more space. And thus the solute molecules get inside that space. Okay. Now, students, other than solids, some uh, gases also dissolve in water. For example, oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, there are some gases that dissolve in water. Now, oxygen, uh, we can easily understand that how oxygen gets dissolved because the aquatic animals, they survive in water. So, they also breathe. So, from where do they get oxygen? Because in water, oxygen is mixed. And uh, that dissolved oxygen, the aquatic animals can take. Okay. So, students, here we have discussed about many things about solvent, solute, solution, then soluble substance, insoluble substance. So, learn about all these things, students. We have already completed this chapter. Prepare the lesson very nicely. Read the chapter line by line. Learn the spellings. Very soon I will send you the next video class in which we will discuss the question answers. Okay. Om Namah Shivaya.